Today I'm going to do a review of this. This is Outlander or Cross Stitch by Diana Gabaldon and this is a spoiler free review and let's get started. So Cross Stitch is about a woman named Claire Randall who is a nurse in like the wartime and it's 1945 and she and her husband after the war, um, Frank Randall, decide to go on their honeymoon which they didn't get to go on because of the war and because it happened. So after the war ends, they decide to go on their honeymoon and they go to the Highlands and while she is there, um, Claire goes to these stone hitch circles um, and they transport her 200 years into the past to 1743 and she's separated from her husband and she has to try and figure out how to like survive and live in this new place and it's very different obviously because it's 200 years in the past and she's also, she's also trying to get back to where she's from and back to her husband. But while she's in 1743, she gets a romance and she also gets, you know, lots of complicated things happen and she kind of has to um, figure out what to do and how to survive and how to like adapt to this new place. A lot of people tend to describe this book in like two ways. There are people who really, really don't like the book um, and then say that it's sort of erotic fiction or that there's a lot of sex and that's not great or that um, there's violent sex and they don't like that. And then there's other people who really, really like the book and who really love Jamie, which is, you know, understandable, um, and who also think that it has great um, historical fiction writing and very well researched. I'm of the opinion that it's kind of both of those things together. That's kind of the way that I see this book. So yeah, the things I liked about the book. The first thing I liked was that this book was so well researched, you can definitely tell there's so much detail Sometimes it's a little bit too much because, you know, it's a really long book. But yeah, so much detail, so much explanation, so much historical context is put in. And there's so much research that must have gone into that and you can really tell. Um, and I also really like the writing. It was really easy to follow and re really beautiful. The prose was beautiful. Um, and the dialogue, especially between the two main characters, the, the main romance was really great. I also really liked the romance as well. Um, I really liked the relationship and just the way they talked to each other and how things developed. Um, it was really interesting and they are both very likable characters. I, f I feel like most of the characters in the book are so easy to like and they're so complex and they have, you know, lots of different parts. So the characterization was really great in this book and the writing was awesome. And there's also something kind of peaceful in the book as well. Um, even though there's fighting a lot of the way through, there's a lot of stuff happening and a lot of action, there's still sort of this peacefulness to it. I don't know if it's because of the setting and because of, you know, the nature and because they're always kind of, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's it's just kind of peaceful and I liked reading it. It was kind of a breath of peaceful air for me. Now the things I didn't like. So the first thing was that it was kind of slow at times. There were like action-y periods and there were times that, you know, nothing was happening, but it was still, like, it still felt interesting. But there were other times when it was just like, move on to the next thing, please. I need something else to happen. So there were, it's a long book and it could have been condensed a little bit, but it's still really beautiful and I still enjoyed the whole like reading experience even though it was so long and all the other books in the series are so so long. The next thing I didn't like is the erotic fiction feel to the book that it sometimes have. I know a lot of people might disagree with this um, but to me it did have a little bit of an erotic fiction feel to it mostly because of the sex scenes and how they were described and also how many sex scenes there were. There were a lot of sex scenes. A lot. I've read other historical fiction and there is sex but this is definitely, out of all the historical fiction I've read, the most sex scenes I've ever seen. Um, and yeah, I just, it was a lot of sex. Um, so I can understand why people would get that sort of vibe from the book. And then also, um, the guy that Claire has the romance with, the guy that she sort of, you know, she has her husband and then she has her lover. Her lover, um, he definitely has a very, like, Fabio sort of feel to him. He definitely fits that stereotype that erotic fiction have, like, you know the, those covers with like the windswept guy with like the shirt that's like buttoned down and the girl in his arms. I wouldn't say that it's, it's erotic fiction or that it's like trying to be historical fiction but it's actually erotic fiction. I would just say that it has sort of like a feel of erotic fiction sometimes. The other thing I didn't like, and this is probably the main thing I didn't like, is Claire. There were times in the book, I like Claire a lot, I really like her, she's a very likable character, very interesting, but there were times in the book where she just accepts things way too easily. There are things that happen in the book that are understandable because 
the people that are doing them are doing them in their context, they're doing them in the historical period, and it's acceptable then, but she is not from that period, and she should not be okay with some of the things that happened. There were two things, there were lots of things, but there were two things for me that stood out that I was just not okay with, and I'll talk about them at the end of this video in the spoiler part, but yeah, I just... I don't know, I just, I couldn't see her accepting them or being okay with them as easily as she was. It just, it made me feel like she wasn't that great of a character or that she didn't have, um, like, strong morals or, I don't know, she just sort of gave in too easily to things, um, to things that I really was not okay with her giving in to. Yeah, that is my review of Outlander or Cross Stitch by Diana Gepeldon and I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Definitely recommend it and also the TV show if you haven't seen that, it's a great TV show. So now it's time for the spoiler section of this video if you haven't read the book, then don't watch this part of the video because spoilers. Okay, you've been warned. Bye-bye. See you later until you've read the book. Okay, this is in regards to like the erotic fiction feel and the Fabio thing that was happening with Jamie. Um, how does Jamie become bomb in bed so quickly? Like, he's a virgin. He's never had sex before, right? He does know what he's doing the first time and then just like that, just like that, he gets good. He gets amazing. He's just, just like, Claire is like, eyes rolling back, it's amazing, she can't get enough, sex, and I just, like, that, that is so erotic fiction to me, that is so, like, unrealistic. The priest at the end, with the whole, like, explaining adultery and just, like, saying, it's okay, it's okay, you're not, your husband's not here yet, your husband's not alive yet, you're not cheating on, it's fine. Why was that necessary? It was just not necessary at all. I don't, like, I'm not judging Claire by any means, um, but when she tries to justify it, or when the book, I guess, tries to justify it, I just... why? The last two things I want to talk about are the two things that Claire accepted too easily. The first is Jamie spanking or beating her. I'm not necessarily, like, angry at Jamie for doing that because it was sort of culturally normal, it was appropriate for, like, that time period or not appropriate, but it's something that happened and something that was accepted in that time. It was not, however, however, accepted in Claire, or for Claire, and she should not have been okay with it as quickly as she was. He told her a story about his, how his dad beat him, and then she forgave him. Jamie's so sweet, and his dad beat him, so it's okay that he beat me. No. Are you a, are you a child, Claire? Are you a child? No, then it's not okay. It's not okay, and you shouldn't have forgiven him so easily, and just, like, it was just, like, no big deal anymore. Like, oh, my husband beat me, but it's okay because his dad beat him. The second thing is when Claire leaves the baby to die. This, I was just, like, freaking out at that part of the book. When she, like, saw the baby and it was sick and it couldn't, like, lift up its arms. It was so sick and she knew it was sick and she's a nurse. She's a nurse and she left the dying baby. She left the dying baby and I'm like, what are you? And so finally, like after a while, walking away from a baby who's dying in the woods, in a place where it's going to be killed, she's like, oh wait, I should probably go back. Let's go back, try and save the baby. She goes to the baby to try and find it, and then she's stopped by Jamie, and Jamie's like, oh, the baby's already dead. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this part for you. The child's dead, he said briefly, tugging me back. I went up there to see first. I followed him then, without demur, distressed over the child's death, but relieved that I would not, after all, have to face the climb to the fairy's crest or the long journey back alone. Oh my gosh. The baby is dead, but it's okay. I don't have to walk now. I don't, I don't, I, mm. I don't even, I don't even know what to say to that. And then, just, it was just, next, next thing. I mean, I know it comes in later to her being, like, a witch, the witch hunt thing, where they want to, like, kill her because she's a witch and stuff. But it really, they could have done something else. Like, it was a very small detail. It just felt unneeded and wrong and... Why the hell? Those are my thoughts, those are my spoiler thoughts about Outlander, and that is my entire review. Um, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below about what you thought about it, if you have read it, and that's it. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>